quick video today, we're just going to be showing the transfer speeds between the internal SSD and the external SSD on a PS5. We're going to be transferring Killing Floor 2, which is about 35 gigabytes. Uh, a setup that we have is an internal SSD uh, with a SATA to USB-C adapter. A couple of reasons as to my, why you might want an SSD soon. Um, once PS5 allows you to transfer PS5 games back and forth and use external hard drives as cold storage, it might be an affordable option uh, considering the fact that internal storage or internal expandable storage might be expensive as hell. Um, external SSD, SSDs go for about 100 bucks. That adapter was about 10 or $11. Um, so it might be more cost effective to just get an external SSD and transfer things back and forth. And assuming that the transfer speeds are not that slow, it might be better to just do this than to re-download shit. So, 35 gigabytes. Got my stopwatch right here. Ready, set, go. About the one minute mark, we're about halfway there. There you have it, 35 gigabytes transferred in two minutes and 11 seconds. One thing to consider is um, this SSD right here is not even at the fullest capacity that USB-C should be able to support. This only reads and writes at about six gigabits per second. You can get a Samsung T7 or something similar that goes up to 10 gigabits per second. So these transfer speeds would probably be almost twice as fast. And when you're going to be transferring games that are 50, 60, 70, 80 gigabytes, you know, that's going to be a lot of time saved compared to a mechanical external hard drive. So there you have it. Um, in case you were interested as to how quick you can transfer things back and forth, there you go. I'll leave a link to some of these stuff in case you're interested. If not, just get an external SSD soon. Goodbye.